Vopal Chicken. Today I'm going to be doing a short video all about Mule Assist. Uh, Mule Assist is um, an alternative fork to Kiss Assist. Um, it branches from about version 10 approximately. Um, but one of the, the nice features about it is that uh, EQ Mule has been working on this, hence the fact the name Mule Assist. And he's actually written a plugin to go alongside the macro itself for creating your actual any files and it is remarkably useful so what i'm going to do today is i'm just going to show a basic uh, demonstration of, uh, of how useful it is what we have here is a little druid okay and as you can see everything's blank other than that buff there which we'll get rid of now um and what i'm going to do is i'm going to demonstrate how this works and just how useful it is at the moment the any file for the druid is completely empty so this is if you've just got yourself um red guides and uh, decided to try out mule assist and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, build an ini file and i'm just going to show you how easy it is to do right i've got a, a little tank with me who's going to be my tank for my druid okay so we're going to be in an assist role um so we're going to provide some healing uh, and probably do like some dps as well so first of all what we'll do is um we'll we'll start building the ini file up right um, do we need first of all I'll just take you through a brief rundown of the, of the, the actual plugin um, you run the plugin uh, by typing slash plugin space mq2 mule and that will load the uh, mule assist plugin in when it first pops up you'll see this window if you don't already have an ini file um, I've got the path hidden here at the moment but you can actually see what the name of your file is and you can browse for other ones if you have alternatives for an example, the Druid and a Shaman are both ones you might have dual um, any files for, one for doing DPS and one for doing healing. Um, but uh, in this case, we're just gonna we're gonna have the one. Um, you'll notice on here, there's at the top first of all, there's UI and RAW. Okay, we we'll cover UI. RAW is useful because what it does is it literally shows you the raw output of the the any file broken down into different sections. Um, so it's actually really quite useful for if uh, for the more advanced users um, who want to tweak things. Um, but for us, what we'll do today is we'll mainly just concentrate on this part. You have a little button here to mem spells. You can set your spells and you can also set the spell gems. And then once that's all done, you can just hit this and it'll load the spells. Okay. You can also hit this button if you already have spells preloaded and it'll save your spells. You can use this to import innies. Now this is really useful. It needs to be used with a little bit of caution, but at the because at the moment that this um, plugin is still um, in in beta, it hasn't uh, achieved a full release yet, um, and then there's still features being added and still uh, a couple of bugs being sorted out. Um, but for the most part, it's actually uh, pretty complete. But this allows you to actually import Kiss Assist in your files. I personally have had uh, a lot of um, use out of this because I've been importing some of my um, other Kiss Assist um, inies across to uh, mule assist uh, and it works really well um any manager it just allows you to manage it remote i don't know what that does yet there we go if you and one thing that mule has been been doing is putting hot tips so hold it over it tells you what it is okay upgrades outputs a list of any spells in this section that can be upgraded um I'll demonstrate that and I'll show you in a second. You can also downgrade as well, which is quite useful if you're uh, messing around like I do, take a high level any file then convert it for lower levels. And Gem Manager does that. It opens up a little Gem Manager, which is uh, quite useful because you'll be able to see your gems and it'll give you some more information, but we'll, we'll come to that in a moment. So first of all, let's just start building a, a, an any file. Um, the first section we've got is the area effect section. Um, we're only a low level um, druid, so at the moment, I really don't need to worry about um, doing any area effects. Now, do we have any AAs that will help us? Uh, I think we're too low really to have any useful area effect. Uh, sorry, aggro, diagro spells that I remember. It's been a while since I played a druid. There's a buffs, right? Buffs definitely. Now you'll notice here there's a a buff con conditions on and off. Okay, we'll just turn it off for the moment, but we will turn buffs 
on. So we're going to buff. So what's the first buff we're going to do? Let us, uh, we need a hit point buff. So let's do that. Okay. Now you see a little symbols appeared there. And you'll see it's populated that. Okay. There is actually a little condition builder. Okay. So if you actually know what you're doing with your conditions, you can build conditions up. This, I would imagine, in the future is going to be um, increased in what you can do. Um, it would make sense for, for me to do that. Um, but for the moment, if you want to type in your own conditions, you can actually build it yourself. It's it's not too hard. Right, what other buffs do we want as a druid? We want, uh, I think we should have a regeneration. So, have we got a group regen? We have, but we've got a better single target. So what we'll do is we'll just use that for the time being. Bonk. And you see how easy this is just to add your spells in. It's, it literally just couldn't get any easier than doing this. Um, we don't need that. Mammoth strength, yes. Um, but for this, uh, da, 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 da. let's do put an internal condition for this. Okay, and I'll show you what this does. And let's do that for Emmy. So the main assist can have the buff since I'm, I'm already running with a little... Uh, a little uh, mercenary. Okay, what other buffs do we want to add? Uh, we could do with a um, scale of the reptile. Yeah. Again, that wants to be the MA, so that's a pipe and MA. Uh, oh, wrong one. Pipe and MA. Do I have to save as well? I always forget to save. Yeah, there we go. So, so far we've got. That'll do the group, that'll do the group, that'll cast on the main assist, that'll cast on the main assist. Um, we're going to want a damage shield up as well, so let's find ourselves a damage shield. Uh, let's just use legacy, then everybody gets it on them. Don't need to worry about that for anybody else. Any others? Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think we do. I th there, melee guard. Nah, I don't need to worry about that. That's for me, actually. Uh, no, that'll do. Okay, so what we've done is we've created ourselves a little buff, so we'll put a group hit point buff on us, regen, and then we will buff the main assist with... Um, although, this might not work, because obviously I'm using a, um, a merc, so that you can't put a main assist tag on them, but we'll see what happens. Um, I have it got it selected, so it should designate it as the main assist when we run the macro. Uh, skills, yeah, that'll do. We've got that on everybody else, okie dokie. Burn, I'm not going to bother with burns, so what we'll do is we'll just turn that off for the time being. Uh, cures, we can put cures on. I believe we have some heal cures. Why not? And, and I'll show you something else, because I'm going to go back to it in a moment. Cure, uh, let's just stick that in for the fun of it, okay. Conditions for cures. Do we really need a me condition? I don't think we do. Okie dokie. Save. That's just probably for something else. Right, let's put some DPS on. Let's turn the DPS on. Right, what are we going to do? Um, oh, I forgot the aura. I'll do that in a minute. Um, let's do damage over time. Yeah. Um, da -da -da. We're not going for... Should we dot D? Yeah, let's throw a DD in just for the heck of it. You see how easy this is? It's literally just going through. Bang. There's three DPS spells added in. As you can see, it's added in the little internal condition for us. So they'll just cast 99%. Gift of mana. Uh, let's stick a gift of mana in. In fact, let us do for the gift of mana um, direct damage. Uh, sorry, uh, damage over time, that one, because that's our big, big mana burner. And that, see, pre-filled that in for us as well, so it'll target straight into the mob. Heals, heals might be a good idea. So let's put some heals. Let's turn the heal conditions off at the moment. And let's stick in some heals. So, adrenaline swell. Um, we will stick change that to no we'll leave it as it is for the time being i think yeah i'm not bothered about it being low things tend to uh to smack you 
But obviously you can change all these. Uh, bunk. And see just how easy it is though, just adding all these in. Okay, we're not going to maze. We don't need to maze. Um, we don't need any of the um, oh shit stuff adding in at the moment. Um, the thing is to remember with your shits is if you've got um, a good example would be with a paladin. Um, you'd set up a, a, an oh shit um, for the lay on hands for low health, say 10 or 20. Um, and it, that'll, the oh shit overrides everything else. So it's a really good way for uh, doing it. Let's add a little pet uh, since we have one. Grab our bobo. There we go. So what have we got? No aggros, no air effects. That's okay. Buffs. Okay, we've got that in. Right, so let's do... Let's jump back to our DPS quickly. Okay, so we've put in Withering Sunray, Nature's Burning Wrath, and Equinox Brand. But what we need to do is we need to set our spells up. So what you do is you, you right-click on it. It brings up a little menu for the spell. As you can see, you can change it to a different spell of that line, which is really nice to see. And... We can mem it to the first available gem. But what we'll do is we'll save it to gem one. And then we'll go to this one and do the same again, but do it to gem two. And the same for this one, but do it to gem three. Okie dokie. And we'll all go to our heal section. And we will drop these in as well. And you can go to four. And you can go to five. And you can go to six. There we go. And shall we change? Yeah, let's drop these down. So that's, that'll heal at 80. Um, we'll do that one to heal at, say, 50. Uh, and you can heal it at 70. Okay, that makes that easy. Okay, uh, any other spells we need to remember? Yes, there is. Some of these buffs we need to keep permanently up. So, Blessing, uh, the, the Reptile line. Should, we should keep that up. There it is. So, let's stick you into... Let's stick you in Gem 12. Okay. So, what we can do now is just hit that. And as you can see now, it's going to load all of my spells for me. Simple as that. We shall be memmed shortly. There we go. See, there's all my spells memmed now. And what you can do at this point is you can have a quick look at the raw. So if we go to the raw and have a look at, say, the buffs, you can see how it's added it all in for you. Okay, with the tags and everything on. We've got nothing in burn at the moment. We've got a single cure. I should actually add that to the list. So let's quickly go back to the UI. Cures and which the next gem free is seven so let's put you into gem seven gem seven and then just hit mem spell and there you go let's put it straight in for you it doesn't wipe all the others out so it's relatively quick to do uh dps that's all looking good and then all you need to do is type slash mac space mule assist targeting your little thing i have a little hotkey already set as you can see there so, mule ass, mule assist. Let's hit this. And she's going to buff. So let's watch the buff go through. Uh, oh, yes. Going to summon my little pet first. I have no pet. Druids live longer when we have pets. Yay. Let's see whether this does this because it's a long 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 memory one so is that one actually you can also um as i'll show you in a second actually because i haven't done any but i'll put one in okay here we go there we go there's bobo now what are we doing Oh, it's memorizing it again. I remember this because it's um, one of those little quirks at the moment that I know that Mule is looking at. Um, it's going to recast the uh, the Druid pet. 
and we will go from there. Because we can only have one Bobo. Come on. It's a shame they never carried this line on with druids. It would have been cool to have bear pets all the way through. There we go. Now we should get some buffs done. No. There we go. Blessing of Ironwood coming up. But if you do use this and uh, you're using Mule Assistant and you've got any, you find any bugs or any quirks that pop up, um, oh, I fizzled it. <laughs> um, on the forums, there is a, a Mule Assist area. Um, obviously, just leave any any bug reports in that area. Um, we also have a Discord section for uh, Mule Assist. I don't know whether it's invite only or not. Um, but it's always worth uh, leaving any any information. There we go. That's worked. And as you can see, it's it's that easy to create uh, an any file. Um, it's it's just so useful. And the, and the nice thing about this is, well, say I was to level up and I've got new spells, I can go into my spells and I'll actually demonstrate it in a second. Uh, and you can actually upgrade the spells. Um, the only thing is you've got to remember is you've got to stop your macro and restart it after you've made changes. Otherwise, obviously, it won't remember them. Okay, so there you go. It's as simple as that. I'm already sitting down mid-in. This macro is literally up and ready to go. So let's just end it and go up to here. And I'll demonstrate what I was saying about the upgrades. So let's go to the UI section and we'll go to... Uh, let's do DPS. Spells. And let's do a direct damage cold line. Uh, like, so there's a crystals. We've got two crystals. We've got one at 75, one at 80. Let's put the, the rhyme one in. So let's assume that I've leveled up. I've hit level 80 and I've got a new spell. You see how you right click on it now and it says upgrade. So what I can do is I can just upgrade that. And that spell is now upgraded straight away. It recognizes the spell lines. There's still a few quirks, which is why we want people to test and report back. Um, but it's as easy as that. So if you've got a, a, an any file that you actually like and it works really well for you, and all you literally want to do is just up, you know, literally be upgrading the spells every time you level up, it, it's to right click, click upgrade. It's upgraded once you level, as long as you've got the spells on you. Uh, and obviously, don't don't forget to uh, add the gem in. So let's stick you there, and then it's as simple as that it's just so easy to uh, to mem it anyway guys if you have any questions I'll leave a message in the thread um, feel free to contact me EQ Mule, or come on discord in the forums wherever and leave messages for us all um, you know I'm, I'm actually really liking this it, it is this interface makes any building incredibly simple uh, and it, it's 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 just so good so anyway guys be safe in these strange times that we live in and uh, enjoy EverQuest. Be safe, guys. See you in a bit.